This video's focus is on counters to the overhand grip. The overhand grip is when a judoka places their arm over their opponent's shoulder, reaching down and grabbing their back. This is Teddy Reiner using an overhand grip to force Newaza and move to a strangle. So the first counter we'll look at is from Hamada Shori. This is my favorite because it's straight at the beginning of the match. She chops into her opponent's shoulder, moves to the Udegarami position, finishes with an Udegatame. So this was the final of the Zagreb Grand Prix against a French judoka. Now the following one is the first round of the following tournament. Once again, chopping into the opponent's arm as she uses the overhand grip and then moving into an Udagarami. This time finishing with a submission from Munegatame position. Both of these are very similar. You don't see this from Hamada Shori very often these days because opponents stopped putting in the overhand grip against her after these two performances. You will see judokas with a big height advantage like Madeline Malonga using the overhand grip against Hamada, but in the case of Malonga, her shoulder is so much higher. This is Chizuru Arai. First we see her defending her opponent's overhand grip and transitioning to an Uchimata to score a Waza Ari. This was in a World Championship semi-final. So her opponent needed to get on the scoreboard in order to have a chance of getting to the final. So here she's blocking her opponent's overhand grip at the bicep and then she uses a Kochigari followed by a Sayonage to take things to the tatami. Now we're seeing her apply some Newaza, using up a lot of time to guarantee her space into the final. So it seems like she's starting to transition towards a Juji Gitame, at which point the ref calls Mate. Once again, blocking the first attempt at the overhand grip and moving her hand in line to catch her opponent's bicep. She's unable to grip the sleeve, but her opponent's slowly moving forward. So she uses a Kochi Gari, followed by the Sayonage. So let's pay attention to the feet. The opponent's slowly moving further forward and she kicks out the leg with the Kochi Gari and then uses a Sayonage as her opponent recovers her balance. Now here's Hifumi Abe. He's going to use a strategy initially here of removing the overhand grip with a Sode style grip. His opponent tries an Uranage, but Hifumi counters with an Ochigari. And the referee does go to a video replay here and they decide that the Georgian landed on his arm, not his back, so there's no score. So we'll see this match continue. So Hifumi looking to push his opponent away when he puts in this overhand grip. When he finally transitions to the throw, he does the opposite. Rather than trying to keep his opponent away from him, he moves his weight towards his opponent. He catches him with an Ochi Gari. He uses an underhook and an overhook, more like a wrestling takedown than a typical judo ochigari. And we can see the typical Hifumi Abe fake newaza, looking active but not trying to pass guard. As his opponent puts the arm in, he catches him with the underhook, puts in an Ochigari hook, and drives in. 
This is later in the same fight. The Ochigari fails. So he transitions to the Ogoshi. Against this opponent, Hifumi is initially circling away a lot as his opponent tries to get the overhand grip. He's controlling the collar and circling away. Now here he manages to score a Wazaari with a Sode. So the Russian is behind by a Wazaari, so he has to be aggressive to win this match. This is very close to the end of the match. You can see Hifumi is using the same tactic, trying to circle away and get the collar grip. But he'll change again, and grab his opponent and throw him with a variation of Ogoshi. And then he spends the rest of the match with a little Newaza. Here is Funa Tonaki in the blue judo gi and we're going to see a similar tactic as Mufat throws in the overhand grip, she grabs the collar circling away a little, throws in a Koochigari, then throws her arm over the top of Mufat's arm and notice how much lower Mufat's arm position became by the end of that sequence. So a wonderful Sumi Gaishi counter by Funa Tanaki. I'm gonna do another video soon looking at a different type of Sumi Gaishi counter that Funa has used to win matches. So subscribe if you're interested in that. Here we are again, overhook grip in. Funa gets a little bit of space. She uses a Kochi to off balance to then throws her arm over the top. Notice how much lower Mufbat's arm is at this point. As she moves for the Sumigaishi, Funa bases with her hand on the mat, turns her legs towards the legs of Mufbat and moves into a nice pin. Final athlete for today, Miku Tashiro. So the Korean judoka in the white judo gi gets the overhand grip but Miku is dominating her left sleeve and she's able to glide around the Korean's attempt at a turning throw. But uh, the Newaza attempt is unsuccessful, so the match will continue. Here we see the Korean judoka trying to lift Miku, but Miku's not fighting. She's just gliding her hips with the movement. And because she had dominated her opponent's sleeve, it was very difficult for her opponent to succeed. So the match continued, and there was a nice Kosodogari Wazaari to put Miku in the lead. But the Korean, using a stiff-legged defense, was able to stall things on the ground. And the Korean would have another chance to win this bronze medal. So here the Korean is going to try and throw in the overhand grip. First, Miku blocks her. And then the second time, as the Korean's looking to throw in the overhand grip, Miku is able to move in and throw her again with Kosoto Gari. Now looking to finish this one with Newaza. Once again, the Korean proves to be a woman of many escapes, flipping back to her belly. So here's a replay from a different angle. First time she tries to throw in the arm. Second time Miku moves in to greet her and she's well positioned for nice Kosotogari attack. So there's the first attempt. Next time Miku comes in, collides with her and pushes her to the ground. Notice the right hand of Miku Toshiro 
pushing it towards the Koreans' right side to help finish this throw. Miku tried to extend the right sleeve towards the mat to help score with a Wazaari, but a hand slipped off, so the Korean was able to belly down and avoid being scored on in this judo match. So I'm going to do another video looking at Newaza counters and some Sumigaishi counters. And it's going to include Miku Toshiro being countered by one of Japan's elite Newaza judoka. Subscribe for that one. It's coming soon.